We must comprehend the components of the S-400 equipment in order to understand how it functions as a whole system. A typical S-400 system consists of six parts. A launch vehicle with missiles. Command and control post located on a vehicle. A long-range surveillance radar known as Big Bird Acquisition and Management Radar. A gravestone engagement and fire control radar. An all-altitude acquisition radar and last but not the least a mobile mass system. Let's go over each of these parts in more detail. The missile is one of the most important elements of the S-400 Triumph. This is the launch vehicle that carries the missiles. This is the Baz tractor truck, a launch vehicle that carries these missiles. Another alternative is the Maz series. Transporter Erector Launcher Vehicle is the platform for the SP launchers. Up to four launch tubes housing a variety of missiles can fit inside the TEL truck. These are the four missile of different range and caliber. This is a short-range missile of 40 kilometers. This is a medium-range missile of 120 kilometers. Moving forward, this is a long-range missile of 250 kilometers. Last but not the least, we have the very long-range missile of 400 kilometers. For basic understanding, there are three types of radar system of the S-400 missile system. Number one, the Big Bird. NATO reporting name Tombstone. The 91N6E Big Bird Acquisition and Battle Management radar of the S-400 is based on the 8x8 trailer. The radar can detect and track aircraft, rotorcraft, cruise missiles, guided missiles, drones and ballistic rockets within the distance of 600 kilometers. It can simultaneously track up to 300 targets which makes it as one of the most advanced mobile radars. Number 2. This is the fire control and target tracking radar of the S-400. NATO codename is called Gravestone. It is a multifunctional radar with a range of 400 kilometers. It can also be referred as an all-altitude detector. Number 3. This is the 40V6MR. This radar is used to detect low-flying targets, which are using terrain masking to hide from radar. But some say the 40V6 is not a radar, but an optional tower, which could be detached from chassis and mounted on the tower by crane. This is the Ural truck. It is mounted with a mobile command and control post for the S-400 system. From here, all operations will be managed. From the detection of the target through the firing of missiles from the launchers. Let us look at the basic step-by-step -step process of how this works. Step number one. Big Bird Long Range Surveillance Radar picks up a target which have been discussed it can track as many as 300 targets at once. Step number two. It then passes the information to the command and control station. When determining whether a target is friendly or hostile, the command and control center is involved. Additionally, it chooses to engage the target or receives orders from higher command theater to do so. The command and control center orders the launchers to launch the appropriate missile after permission to engage has been granted. Step number three. The type of missiles are launched depending on the range and type of targets. The system works by launching two missiles at the same target if one missed. The backup missile will do the job. Step number four. These are guided to the target using the engagement radar. The engagement radar and surveillance radar constantly interact with each other to determine the trajectory of the missiles based on the real-time location of the target. Step number five. In case there are low-flying targets, the mobile mast system is the last defense equipment, which it could track cruise missile and other UAV. The command post order the launch of the mid-range missiles and destroy the target. At a time, the system could track up to 300 targets and engage around 60 to 80 targets at once. It can guide up to 160 missiles simultaneously, keeping in mind it required two missiles to hit a single target as their battle regiment strategy. 
Again, it would not be honest if we cannot discuss its limitations and drawbacks, so here are the basic analysis. Although the S-400 might be deadly in the event of a poorly prepared attack, its maximum range may be influenced by the other weapons that its operators choose to deploy in addition to the system. One of the limitations of the S-400 is the Earth's curvature, which restricts radar projection to the horizon. Therefore, it's possible that very low-flying things like cruise missiles or even aircraft won't be discovered until they are close enough to the system to strike it. This range could be as little as 40 km at low altitude. At AI Tele, we produce military engineering videos, so smash the like and subscribe button to help produce more content like these.